Um, I don't know if I'm going to release this as a double feature, but um, I am definitely continuing from... Well, let me undock first and I'll show you. We just talked to the Starborn. I just found out the secret and... Yeah. I don't know how long this video is going to be. Maybe it's until I finish this mission, but... God damn. Alright, so there's a multiverse. There's multiple versions of Sarah, and there's multiple versions of the priest. Um... heading back to the lodge right now to talk to everybody and let them know that uh, the hunter is what's his face and Sarah isn't technically dead but she's dead in our universe honestly when it just comes down to it it's multiverse theory and um, I wasn't ready for it or necessarily asking for it, but now I understand why why there's, you know, I mean, how there's the new game plus and whatnot. I'm not even, I don't even know how to feel. Well, I know how to feel, but I don't know who I'm choosing. Fortunate that Walter has used his considerable funds to maintain the lodge, are we not? Yeah, we're this is hey, gonna be a conversation. I've been talking with the others, and I'd like to get everyone together to say goodbye. You know. To Sarah. Oh, 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 oh. Um I'll be there. No, I promise I'll try, but you never know with me always pulled here and there. Uh, no, I, I, I'm, I, yeah, I'll be there. Thank you. It wouldn't be the same without you there. I'll have everything set up in a few days. Um. Mateo told us about your pilgrim's voyage. You found it, didn't you? The meaning of unity. It's the center of the multiverse. We're building the way to it. Don't know why I read it like that. Um, there are infinite numbers of me out there. I feel sorry for all of them. <laughs> Sarah is alive. A version of her from another universe. See, I don't want to just drop that bombshell on them after I'm dropping that bombshell on them. It can't be. Our colleague is alive in some alternate dimension? A am I hearing this right? Hate to be the responsible one, but the big bombshell of what we're actually building here might need another second to sink in. Want to go over this whole multiple universe thing for everyone? Yes, I wouldn't mind a little more detail. Um, I met a version of Sarah. She told me the Unity creates the Starburn, Starborn, and they can cross universes. Apparently, in another universe, I died and Sarah lived. She's the emissary now, a starborn. Trust me, there's a multiverse, <laughs> multiple universes. The unity is how we get to them. It makes you starborn. I mean, yeah. Explains why the starborn want the artifact so bad. Get them all and you've got a gateway to infinity. I don't even want to think about the physiological changes you'd need to travel between universes. Plus, what it would do to the mind, enlightenment, or oblivion, like the hunter. He's actually you saying. You have the opportunity to reach the closest thing to your god that might exist, and you're second guessing it. One doesn't approach the afterlife without some trepidation. You know, through this whole game, I thought he was just nonsensical. That is the most sense he has made during this whole game um this is our mission to go into the unknown this is <laughs> that's a hell of a mission right about now uh think of what awaits us a new life the powers of the starborn we should all take time to think about what this means you're right we have to see the unity for ourselves you know it 
Now once everyone's head stops spinning from all of this, we can get back to work. Uh, not to make a sharp turn in a grand tale, but I got the eye fixed up. Bruised, but still blinking. Let me know when you're ready to follow up on what it's seen. Shoot, um... Hey, Captain. Can I talk with you for a bit? What's up? Hey, uh, let's not stick around the lodge too long. I appreciate it. We should get out there. Space is so hostile to humanity already. And you made it just a little bit safer for everybody. No matter what you could have done differently, this will impact a lot of lives eventually. We'll have to mark it in the Constellation history books so we don't forget it when the Turimarfs are finally gone. I don't care if, if I'm remembered for that. There are way, way better things they'll remember me for. I don't want to talk about this right now, Barrett. Oh, really? I haven't noticed anything. Well, excuse me. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. You're amazing. Like chocolate-covered prasada berries on an all-you-can-eat spicy chunks buffet. Ah, sorry, I'm a little hungry. Balancing risk versus reward is tricky. Even more so when so much hangs in the balance. The hell was he so, doing? You really think the Acelis are going to work out, huh? You must have seen some data that I didn't. Um, microbes can mutate. You know that you're a scientist. The Achilles are awesome and also safer. I don't know. Maybe the microbes are a better op. I'm never saying that. They're reliable is, I think, what you're trying to say. And yeah, I get where you're coming from. By sealing the Lazarus plan away instead of destroying it, I'm worried we've made things riskier. Sealing away the Lazarus plan was the only wise decision we can study it. I can tell you wouldn't have done the same. That's okay. We're different people and we assess risk and success differently. I'm just glad we're doing something against the Turimorphs. Hey, stranger. Let's chat sometime, okay? All right, no problem. Ooh, my bad. I gotta go pick up my nephew in a second. Uh, let me try to do as These much as I can. These from the eye are from the farthest fringes of known space. Could be the only remaining pieces outside the hands of the Stargon. Uh, thanks, Vladimir. I'll follow up on these. I'm not quite ready to look for more artifacts. Remember when Deep Space was our only plot? Aye. The Blackest Sea seems less of a concern when there are sharks leaping out at you. Uh, thanks. Catch a smile out there. Uh, you need a ship with a grav jump range 21 to reach your destination. Grav jumps range influenced by a ship grav jump. So, what this means is I'm about to go out and do a whole bunch of nonsense so I can unlock the last tier of the ship building so I can be comfortable with what I want to do. Yes, that is exactly what's going to happen. So, I believe I'm going to do a lot of side activities before we continue with the main story because honestly, I'm a little bit tapped out with everything they just told me. So, um, What is this? Oh, yep, we could deliver this to a uh, what's her face. Perfect. Hopefully, the mutiny didn't start. This is the Earth colony okay, it didn't. What is the nature of your communication? Uh, it's Lou. I'm just checking in with you. It seems like your communication systems are working now. I. Don't know. Oops, I didn't mean to hell you by. That they are. And I'm still learning this new comm system, but it's telling me you're the one who helped us out with it. At least scans say that's your ship ID. Cool. Can I help you out with anything? Is it? I don't need anything, so I guess I'll catch you around. Maybe. Sounds like everything's good to go. You should leave before Paradiso groups get upset. Where are you going? The ship upgrades seem to be working out so far. Are you all worried 
Uh, my bad. Are you all worried you won't find a new home? Not quite sure yet. We've got a few possibilities for habitable planets to check out. We've just gotta pick one and go. Alright. Um... Oh, uh... Guess that's our cue to get ourselves together in Vamos. I guess we'll see you if we see you out there. Bye. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. Don't you dare do it. Don't you dare do it. Don't you dare do it. Oh, I thought they were going to do the grab drive. I <laughs> I'm not jumping to another system just to find your asses. All right, there we go. Board. Yeah, you do. These are exciting times, aren't they? Why is she all the way up there? Oh, oh, that's what y'all want to do? Really? I can't even climb up there? Y'all being some dirty individuals. You know what? That's why all y'all gonna crash into the sun. I swear I hate this. Never seen a shit like yours before. No, I don't give a damn about your records. I just want to get upstairs. Just because they're equipped. Oh my god. I don't care about your living quarters. I want to... You know what? Just give me back to the main floor. Give me back to the main floor. That's all I want now. Just give me back to the main floor. And I am closing you because I never want to interact with you ever, ever, ever again. Alright, I'm trying one more time. Damn it. You know what? Classroom. I should have did that in the first place. I'm glad you're not an alien. I was that just thinking so of all the knowledge we can share between us and the other Earth survivors. Alright, I have a letter from Janet. What can you tell me? I don't care about that. Oh my gosh, really? I didn't know if I'd ever hear from her again. Well, let's see what she has to say. Oh, that's wonderful. I'm so happy for her. I'll have to find a way to go see her sometime. Thank you so much for coming all this way to deliver it. That's a lot of credits. Um... Thank you so much for bringing that to me. I can't say it enough. It was wonderful hearing from her again. Uh, do you want to send her a letter? Do you think she was right to leave? Would you also leave if given a chance? No, I'm happy here. Fair enough. I still feel a sense of duty towards the other colonists, or whatever we're considered nowadays. All right. Another time, then? Yeah, it's really nothing else to uh, talk to her about. We were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. Yeah, you told me, which you really shouldn't be telling me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least y'all not having a mutiny. Because I really thought things was about to hit the fan with y'all. That's why I wanted to get her off this uh, ship so quick. Uh, 
Um, I ain't got no grain. I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out which one to even go to. Oh, you know what? Let me go ahead and see what this is about. I think this uh, episode is just going to be running around to finishing up some of the missions because I don't even have enough skill points like I want to. I mean, now that I know the secret and everything, eh. I don't think I'm really in a rush to finish it. I mean, until I get bored with other parts. Wait, 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 wait. I, I... No, what, what do you mean? Oh, because I didn't. Yes, fast travel to the location. Well, that was funny. I'm s beyond confused. What? Where am I going? Okay, Neon. Attend your interview at... Okay, so it definitely is Neon. If they put me back in my damn ship... Then what was the point, like, for real, what was the point of doing all that? Huh. I really shouldn't, but I want to know what that is. So, nothing? Huh. Oh, I thought that's that water outfit. What? What? I didn't know it was sharp. That just looked foreboding oh it is dark dark all right this is my only source of light i see are the sharks going to attack me you know what no nah, i don't even want to do all that i'm getting a phobia right now <laughs> i do not like vastness like i really don't I haven't really explored neon like that. Is that a submarine? Oh, y'all actually catch and eat the stuff on this planet. That is pretty interesting. So, yeah, the game... Okay, okay, okay. I was about to say, I'm gonna need you not to freeze for me like that. Trespassing? Not trespassing. Trespassing? Not trespassing. Trespassing? Not trespassing. Okay. Hmm. 
I am very interested in uh in this part. I am. I need to figure out how to you know get over there without trespassing. You know, I used to think be being a bounty hunter was a good job until it's too many rules in that mess. Like, no, nah, I'd rather just be a cop. <laughs> Even though I know how I feel about cops, like, no, nah, I'd rather just be a. Because <laughs> bounty hunter, eh, you ain't getting into that business for money. You really not. Welcome to Ryujin Industries. Can I help you? You must be one of the candidates that Imogene Salzo is interviewing today. Her office is down the hallway to my left. Take another left at the conference room, follow it around to the right and up a small flight of stairs. Then take a left and keep heading that way until you see her office. Sounds like a maze, right? So if you want me to walk you back there or have any questions, just let me know. Nah, no, I think we're done talking. Oh, guess we're done here. Yeah, we're, we're done talking. I suspect that if I were confined to life in an office like this, someone would end up being stabbed. You're not too far off from the truth. There's always work to be done. I hope Basis. you're more prepared than the last one. Yeah, whatever. Have a seat. And your friend can wait outside. I'm sure they understand. Make sure they understand that in the end, they need... All right, just to get a few things straight here, I'm Imogen Salzo, Senior Operations Specialist here at Ryujin Industries. I don't normally do this, but my counterpart Yuko is indisposed at the moment, so here I am. We're looking for someone to fill an entry-level administrative position. Apparently, our algorithm has failed us and believes you to be a decent match, which I'll take up with our technicians later. So... Let's get this over with. Why do you want to work for Ryujin Industries? I don't think I do. Uh, why not? Ryujin is the best tech company in the Settle Systems. I'm just looking to make a few credits. Whatever, our revolutionary. I want to be part of what's next. I heard you only hired the best and brightest, so here I am. I'll be sure to let our marketing team know their phrases are catching on. But I hope that's your sense of humor showing. Not to say we don't have our share of self-important attitudes here. In fact, you'd fit right in where some are concerned. But, moving on, why do you consider yourself qualified for a job like this? I can make any deal happen. Yep, let's just go on for the persuasion. I can't help but wonder if that's why you're here today and not behind bars, considering your track record. If what you say is true, You'll have department heads fighting over you in no time. How motivated are you to succeed? Oh, 
Oh, the persuasion worked? Okay. I'm just hoping not to get fired. It depends on what I'm working towards. I'll go above and beyond to get the job done. I guess. All in, huh? At least that's an attitude we can work with here. And finally, my last question. If you worked here for five years, what role would you see yourself in? In five years, I'll be running this company. Hopefully, I'll have a role in management here, research and development. I want to play a part in the future of technology. I prefer the complexities of cybersecurity. I doubt I'll make it five months, let alone five years. Um. Yeah. Full disclosure, it's all about making deals with the right people around here. You put those skills of yours to good use and choose the right sides. You probably won't be running the place, but you'll be right next to the one who does. So look, since there's a million other things I'd rather be doing than this, not to mention that this isn't even my job, you're hired. On a probation period. That was period, easy. Of course. Especially considering this criminal record of yours. First order. There's a meeting starting soon, and I need you to pick up the coffee order at Terra Brew. Fairly easy. So you shouldn't be able to screw it up. If there's a line, skip it. Tell them you're here for Imogen Salzo, and you should get served right away. I mean, honestly, after everything I have found out about the universe and whatnot, this seems like the appropriate thing to do. You know, slow at, slow things all the way down. I'm gonna need you to not talk to me before you end up regretting talking to me. Well, damn. I've got my eye on you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wait, Don't wait. Oh, this is a restricted area. My bad. Why? You could have said I'm at least headed to. I hate people. I'm gonna feel so much safer with one of those drone security robots. If you have the time, I wish to speak to you. And in, in, in one second. At least that ain't the place that I shot out of when I had to um, work with Walter, I think. Okay, I thought that was gonna freak out. Hi, hey. so hello, and welcome to Terra Brew. How may I serve you? Oh, the Ryujin order. You must be new. What happened to Tomo? Did he finally get that promotion? I got fired, is what happened. Damn. And this is the soulless soup they got to replace me. Tomo, I'm sorry. I know how hard you were working for that promotion. Four years behind the desk, getting coffee, kissing up to that high and mighty Ularu Chen just to get replaced by this nobody? I'm sorry you got fired. Not my problem. All I did was respond to an ad. You know, yeah, let's let's get some information. You don't even know your own boss's boss. Ularu is Ryujin's head of operations or resident shark, if you ask me. If she smells blood in the water, you're dead. Alright, what happened? Who knows? I, I looked at someone wrong. The coffee wasn't hot. They didn't even have the decency to tell me. They just had security escort me out of the building. Like, like some criminal. Alright. Um. Oh yeah, not my problem. All I did was respond to an ad. <sighs> Hearing that ad should have been the first sign they were going to get rid of me. I bet Ularu was just waiting for the moment to hire you. And now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands. Believe me, it's either you or me. Um... What do you mean, it's either you or me? You don't just get to learn all the ins and outs of Ryujin operations and then just walk away. Even worse, I got fired. 
They don't let that kind of knowledge run around in the head of disgruntled employees. It's just a matter of time before they send you after me. So, I'm taking matters into my own hands. Um... Hmm... You know what, let's persuade. You want to talk? <laughs> I'll tell you what. You get one chance to prove you deserve this job. Change my mind, and I'll walk away. Fail? <laughs> and I think you know where this is headed. Uh, I mean, I don't think you really want that, um... Yeah, I don't think you want this to happen. This is a joke, right? You're going to fight me? Yeah, not falling for that one. Alright. Um... Can't be that good. Not yet. <laughs> You'll be surprised. Um, I can tell you don't really want to do this. I can tell you rather not have this end in violence. I earned this job fair and square. I suppose the timing could just be a coincidence. Look, at some point, Ular really will send you after me. Just, just promise me you'll remember this. That, that uh, when I came after you. I gave you the chance to talk me down. I can't make that promise. Why would I be the one they send? Let's just say Ryujin doesn't like loose ends. Chen fired me. And now she's going to see me as a liability. And that's why it's just a matter of time before our paths cross again. Okay? And when they do, I'm just hoping you'll listen to me like I listen to you. Um, yeah, I'm not making that promise. Figured. Promises aren't exactly in the Ryujin spirit. I guess that's my cue to leave. Let's just hope we never see each other again. Right now. Stop running if you know what's good for you. Don't be... Hold it right there! You're under arrest! Um... Yeah. You know, after conducting a thorough search, I'm surprised I didn't find any contraband. At all. But, I still need to take you to the station to be processed. I better not lose anything. I would like a chance to talk to you. Oh yeah, no problem. Okay. Eh, not bad. If you're wondering what that smell is... Look, look, that may have been the worst thing to do, but he pulled a gun out on me. Save it for someone who gives a damn. It's against me. You know, that was just perfect timing. I can't even lie, that was perfect timing. <laughs> he pulled a gun out of me, no one gives a damn. No worries on anyone calling security here. Take it from me, Ryujin will handle any drama that may come from this. You'll want to be sure to report it to them. Alright, I still need to pick up that order. Yes, of course. Here it is. Oh, and please let Mr. Cho know that we did have the recommended maintenance done. I triple checked the grind myself, and a mistake like that will never happen again. Got you covered. Morning, noon, or night. Enjoy one of our incredible and I thought that was just a a drop. You know, that was probably the best 3,000 credits I ever spent. Coffee is still hot considering the time it took you to get it. Oh, f you. you need to learn this city or how to deal with distractions. So, what was the holdup? Your ex employee held me at gunpoint. I ran into an ex employee of yours. Maybe I'm just slow walker. I'm new here and got a little lost. Good answer. And the one I was hoping for since we learned of the incident before your return. 
Your handling of the Tomo situation has caught some attention. We'd like to try you out in a different role at the company. And since Yuko isn't here to object, your new position starts right now. So, congratulations. You've been promoted. Not bad for your first day, right? You were right to talk the situation through, rather than letting it escalate. Uh, that better mean I'm getting a raise. Of course. We believe in risk versus reward here. I'm promoting you to junior operative. The position is a bit more complicated and completely confidential. Your main duty is to add influence when necessary to ensure success of the business. Any questions so far? All right, nephew. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, I had to step away. I had to go pick him up. All right, none. I'm good. Why is it confidential? How am I supposed to ensure success? Well, it depends on the job, really. If someone can't be persuaded with words, perhaps a more forceful approach is necessary. You're basically removing obstacles from the equation. All right. Really? Well, this transition may be easier than I thought. Now, let's get that coffee delivered. I'll gladly take mine. And since Yuko's still a no-show, feel free to keep hers. The other recipients are eagerly waiting for you in the conference room. I'm just trying to figure out where Yuko is, because at this point, um, it sounds like they got rid of her. But, um, I guess. Ah, coffee. You'd think we'd want to support our own subsidiary and get tranquility more often, but terrible it is. You know, give me a second. I got to move my fan. It is. I'm burning up. Hold on. All right. I don't know if it's going to mess up me talking or whatnot. And I apologize if y'all hear the fan, but it really got shut the hell up. It really got hot. All right. Um. Terra Brew would be a substantial purchase, but we fully intend to develop the Tranquility brand. Current projections are set to surpass Terra Brew within the next five years. Tea talk aside, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Lyndon Calderi, Chief Financial Officer. I'll be the one deducting expenses from your pay every time you manage to screw up. Which, hopefully, won't be often. Alright. I mean, I never screw up. See, we've yet to have an operative with a perfect record. This introduction was not annoying. I hope our future encounters are as productive. Okay. You... Okay. <laughs> Just what I needed. Imogene said she hired someone new. I'm Genevieve, head of marketing and public relations. My bad. I'm so sorry. I gotta... You know, it's, it's just weird with this mic right now. Alright, let's see what's next with this. Alright, let's see what's next with this. All right, let's see what's next. All right, let's see what's next. All right. Well, after I just spent the last five minutes trying to organize and everything this, well, I'm glad I got the natural experience and I'm gonna keep all that in the video because why not? Like I said, adjusting my mic, so let's just go. Likewise. Anyway, it's good to put a face to the new operative. The only question now is how much work are you going to be? All right, none. You don't have to worry about me. I'm new at this, so I may need some forgiveness at first. I only care about the results, not the methods. Oh boy, you're going to be a real handful. 
Just know that one screw up for you means a lot of overtime and sleepless nights for me and my team. So any precautions you can take will be greatly appreciated. All right, yeah, I guess. Coffee, finally. Well, let's have a look at you. I'm just here for your view and pleasure. I hope you like what you see. Okay, that's not creepy or anything. I'm quite the specimen, I know. <laughs> Sounds like something my son would say. And no, I don't mean that as a compliment. I'm Alexis Price, head of the legal department here, and I'll be direct. Any legal troubles you cause as an operative, witnesses getting arrested, are my troubles. So steer clear of law enforcement. We may have connections with Administrator Bayou and the Free Star Rangers, but they aren't the ones I prefer to abuse. Um, I'll do my best. Let's hope your best is good enough. Yeah, whatever. So, fetching coffee one minute, and junior operative the next. Camden Cho, supply chain manager for Ryujin. We won't work together much, but as part of the same department, hopefully I'll be seeing you around. Alright, it's good to meet yeah, you. It's always nice to put names to faces. And we rarely see most of the operatives around here. Anyway, welcome to the team. Oh, and just a heads up, people in your position don't typically see the brighter side of Ryujin Industries. But rest assured, this is a great company, and the work we do goes toward benefiting millions. If you say so. Thanks, I'll keep that in mind. Please do. It's easy to get wrapped up in the bad if that's all you see. Of course, you'll be forming your own opinions as you go. Just keep an open mind. Oh, and thanks for the coffee. I hope you enjoyed your little meet and greet. I thought you'd like to know the execs who you'll be impacting while on the job. I've been told how much work I could create for them if I'm not careful. The basic theme was don't get caught. That doesn't surprise me. Now that you've met a few of the execs, let's get you started. We have reason to believe that our friends at Keltcorp are trying to hack into our R&D server, since we're both competing for a contract right now. Big mistake to their part on their part. I bet this sounds like a job for Neon or Freestar Security. Kelp Corp must be desperate if they resorted to illegal activity. Hardly. This is the standard run of the mill tactic we've come to expect from them. We can't allow them to win the contracts, nor can we allow the action to go unpunished. I'll be giving you a data slate with a file that you'll need to upload through one of their computers. Um, consider it done. It's a bit trivial for me, but I suppose I could spare the time. I don't think I can do this. How do I gain access to the computers? What's on the data slate? Consider it done. Remember, this is confidential. We can't have anyone at Keltcorp getting suspicious. When all is said and done, it should be as if you were never there. Here's the data slate. Good luck. All right, fair enough. Um, straightforward and what is it? All right, nothing. Damn. Keep out of my way, and I'll keep out of yours. Everything's quiet. I've got my eye on you. Well, you can have all the eyes you want to. That don't mean y'all gonna be successful. Uh Wait, is it through here? No, it's one more floor down because they have all these damn stairs. And for some reason, I did not get it on the elevator. Never mind. About this damn missing slate. Like security's got time to track something like that down. Have your fun. Live your best life. 
Get lost. Don't go causing trouble. I do not know about you, but I am starting to suspect that Benjamin Bayou has a slightly inflated view of himself. You don't say. Clearly the intent. Grad, I ended up at what do you want to do for the break I don't know, but I gotta get out of here. It's been non-stop interruption since this morning, and I'm not spending another break at my desk listening to COVID. Mm. Those days, huh? I am definitely not hidden, but you know what? I guess it's okay because they don't care anyway. <laughs> They're really not good employees, but I mean, hey, it works for me in the long run, so I don't care. That's not right. All right. You know what? Screw it. I'm going to tear a room right now. Yeah. Get out of my face. If you want to gawk at something, take it to the Astral Lounge. They really didn't care, did they? They all collectively said, I don't get paid enough for this. Which I completely understand. Shoot, it's just a job. I'm not running this. You was. You see any heat? You know what, I think the funniest thing is, if your boss actually cared about you and your well-being, then people would actually work harder. But, um, they don't. And when that truth got out, it was just, fuck all y'all. Why do I give a shit if you don't give a shit? You can fire me at any time. Probably not the best way to look at things, but, uh, you know, you could be that next person when, you know, you got bills and everything, your spouse, your mom, your dad is in the hospital and you need that one last check and they just terminate your ass, then it's just, oh, well, we don't care. Yes, yeah, the same damn thing to you now. Well, look who survived their first assignment. How'd it go? Anything to report? No, none at all. It went well. No incidents to report. How about we talk payment? You don't know already? A fair question. We may have plenty of eyes and ears out there, but I'm still going to need an answer. It went well. No incidents. How about we talk about payment? If you think you have any power of negotiating your pay, think again. Besides, payment is based off performance, so let's hear it. How'd that first job go? Not a single setback. <laughs> I knew you were going to be perfect for this job. If you recall, setbacks mean a lot of things for a lot of people. Payoffs, cover stories, cleanup crews, you get my drift. The cleaner your work, the more intact your payments stay. I'm sure you understand. 
No, no, no. I fully understand. Y'all is completely dirty. I get it. <sighs> um. Exactly. Yeah. Straight In forward. the meantime, I'll make sure that slate is properly disposed of. So, now that we know you're capable of handling some light cyber mischief, let's try your hand at a little uh, framing. <laughs> and I'd argue that arts and crafts is exactly what we do here, just on a much higher level. One of our subsidiaries, Arboron, is currently competing for a contract against Laredo. Now, the buyer likes to keep their associations clean, and we'll be sending a representative to Laredo in Aquila City for an evaluation. We just need you to visit their office first and accidentally leave behind some incriminating evidence against their company. I'll make sure it gets done. Laredo hands are going to look pretty dirty if it means success for... All right, whatever. Good. This one should be easy to pull off. Laredo has their own building, unlike Keltcorp, so at least there's only a single layer of security to deal with. Here's the slate we need you to plant. It holds confidential files that'll cast the perfect negative light on our friends at Laredo. Now, get going. All right, fair enough. Move! Damn, Andresia. All up in my face. Excuse me. This will look like it's turning out to be one of them days already. Because I am exhausted. Oh, I gotta fly to him? I did not know I had to fly to him. Oh, that's the wind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God damn, I cannot... I'm so sorry, people. My mic is messing with me. I don't know why. My OCD is messing up again. I moved it from the... I moved it from where it was, and for some reason, it's just not working for me anymore. I don't know why I moved it in the first place. All right, hopefully that's better. I would not mind. Yes, I know you would like to talk to me, and I'm so sorry. I don't want to talk anymore. You gonna say something else? I am a ranger. I can do what I want. If you have the time, I wish to speak to you. I'd want so to clear up Lots of crime. Ooh, is her whole faith in disbelief right now? So, we finally have all the answers. And yet, here I stand, feeling like I understand even less than I did before. This talk of the unity of a, a multiverse? Dead friends appearing again? It is all simply too much. Uh, the artifact, the powers, the starborn, it all seems to add up. You don't seem happy about any of this. No, she doesn't, because her faith just got... What? I do not see how any of this is cause for celebration. 
we finally know what the artifact mean we've been through so much to understand this all even a starborn no we won't give up we've won i suppose that is true if what the starborn have told us is also true but that means what someone steps into another universe how can we just casually consider doing something like that it's okay to be scared. This is a huge leap. Um, we have to see where this leads, what the unity is. We need to finish what we started. There's too much at stake to do anything. I really want to see this you through. Know that I love you. And I want to be there for you. But this is such an immense decision. Even if everything the Starborn have said is true. If you pass into this unity and come out in, in some other universe, look at who they are. Yeah. And what they have become. True. They have the faces and voices of people you know. Yes. But are nothing like them. No. Are you not at all worried that the same fate would befall you? That you would become someone unrecognizable to the rest of us? Uh, this is what exploring is really about, taking risks, venturing into the unknown. I understand what you're saying, but we have to see this through. This is all just theory until we have the artifacts. Let's just focus on that first. That feels very much like you are just trying to delay this conversation. Well, what, what exactly do you want me to... I don't... I don't and certainly, at this point, we would not want the artifacts falling into any other hands. We should get back to it. Now that we know what to work towards, there's no time to waste. I mean, obviously not. But, again, do you understand exactly what is going on here? I think you'll find that we carry fine weapons of all kinds here. I think you'll find that we carry... Here's what I have in stock. Do you have anything good? head ranger that's so no you don't have anything good nope you don't have nothing good that actually disappoints me what about just you do you have anything good just do your business no and we'll be all uh bro bro i'm gonna need you to calm down move that's a bathroom You know, I don't think we typically allow customers up here. How do I distract him? If you need help, Miss Lance is just downstairs. I better not be wasting my own digi picks for this. Um. Yeah, I know a digi pick is required. I'm currently using one right now. Thank you for the. Um. No, I messed up. Damn. That's a first time for everything.
Wait, is there... Okay. I realize I didn't mess up. I just... Yep. Huh. Oh, I'm supposed to put something there. What am I supposed to put there? I forgot. I hope she's out. Alright, so I'm going to keep it 100. Um, my fan... Okay, I was just burning up like a muff. But my fan, if for some reason it wasn't cooperating, and every single time I talked to the mic, it sounded very, very messed up so but I finally got it to work with me and we're good I'm still burning up but you know what my mic sounds perfect and we back to it just I, I just had to say that that was just irritating me way too much okay I might be still messing with my fan right now and you know having a controller in one hand and the fan in the other hand but you know what we're just gonna enjoy this where I gotta go I'm about to say, please just don't make me land directly and, um, please don't put me at the spaceport again. Okay, good. Okay, this, this, I don't understand. I don't understand why... My stamina is the way it is, because I upgraded everything to something, something, something. I'm going to have to buy a lot of coffee. That's what I'm just going to have to do. hoping you'd show up soon is it done yep everything's said excellent I'll let Ularo know that we can start moving forward with our negotiations now I think it's time to examine a different set of skills nice to see I haven't worn you out yet your next assignment is to find a security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security key card and when I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your hands. Alright. Good luck. I'm sure you'll be able to get that key card without incident. Just remember, if anything does happen, it's up to you to bail yourself out. I mean, when are y'all going to give me the option just to go in there and just start blasting everybody? Because I would love that option. I would really, really love that option. I would appreciate that option. I would be very, very thankful for that option. Oh, it's the clinic. Uh, I can't do that. Damn, that's a strong clinic. Oh, I thought I was going to hear Barrett voice for some reason. I guess not. Alright. I, I think everybody is still at the lodge and whatnot. I forgot, honestly, I forgot the whole situation happened with the Starborn and everything. After seeing Sarah again, that kind of threw me through a loop. 
Again, I understand the multiverse and whatnot and blah, 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 blah. But still, now I'm just like, so can I get Sarah back on my, um, my spaceship? Or is she just all independent on her own? And who gives the Starborn their ships? I got my eye. You sure you belong here? You lost? Because you don't look like you belong here. Bruh, bruh. No loiter. Don't even think about trying anything. They hella funny. Sure you belong here? I, I this is my first time noticing a percentage. Don't even think about trying anything. You know, that was easier than I thought. That was way easier than I thought. What's next? We out. Oh. Huh. Is that made out of wood? Or is it stone? I think it's wood. There's wood on this planet? Well, I didn't even know it was sea life in this planet, so probably. Hey there. Got that key card for me? I think of security the same way too, but don't let Dalton know I said that. Overall, not bad for a novice. I think you're ready to kick things up a notch, and your timing couldn't be better. Do I get to kill people now? Good. It's time for a change of pace. This next assignment requires a bit more discretion for two reasons. First, you'll be dealing with high-level executives, and second, you'll be in the Astral Lounge here in Neon. I suspect a great many things could occur in the Astral Lounge without anyone taking notice. Well, I mean, she's not lying about that. A lot of stuff had... Okay, never... <clears throat> um, uh, all I need are details. Dealing with the people in a social space isn't really... Oh, see, I know y'all hear that. Like, I don't like when my mic be doing that mess. In case y'all don't hear it, then never mind. Just ignore the rant I'm about to go on. All right, all I need are details. Dealing with people in the social space isn't really my thing. The Astral Sounds Lounge sounds exciting. What's the significance of the Astral Lounge? Yeah, just give me the, the details. This is pretty easy. Our techs failed to uncover a potential deal between Infinity LTD and Quantum Synergies. Your job is to make sure that deal fails. 
All right, consider it done. That's what we're hoping for. I mean... You'll be speaking with Quantum Synergy's executive right. director, Zola Adisa, and their financial manager, Arthur Cruz. I'll be giving you a dossier on both. I strongly suggest you read them for talking points. And if I don't, no. Nah. Exactly. Those lines are most likely to sway Zola and Arthur away from Infinity, not to mention give them a gentle nudge in our direction. Okay. The Infinity LTD rep is Nina Hart. I'll also be giving you an altered version of her presentation to swap out with the original. We've changed several figures, just enough to cause sufficient confusion throughout their meeting. They hella funny. Alright, it sounds like that meeting is going to be chaos. Swapping the presentation will make Infinity look incomplete, incompetent. How do you manage to get this presentation in the first place? That don't matter. If it's not on her person, it will be in the suite she has reserved. Suites are patrolled, so she'll believe it's secure. If you can't manage to get her room key or deal with the door itself, try Boone Morgan, the manager. Boone appreciates credits, if you know what I mean. Well, I'm glad I never got a um, apartment or uh, whatnot at never the Neon executives Club. executives are faced with numbers that don't properly match up, any faith they may have had will falter. Finally, I recommend dressing appropriately, so I've taken the liberty of having a suit made for you. Thanks. Need absolute discretion on this one. I don't want any SSNN broadcasts about murder in the Astral Lounge. Got it? I bet you are. <sighs> Just remember to keep a low profile. Don't let the Astral Lounge distract you too much. I'm like, what you mean by that? Have you not heard of what I did before? I, I can handle business. I didn't even take out of the bruh bruh and he wanted more money for the artifact. I handled it very responsibly. I had security take care of him. Oh, I thought that was Mateo. Weave, weave, weave. Hey, keep your nose. Er, er. Hold on, let's see if this is a regular club. It is not a regular club. Oh, I'm sorry. Can I help you with something? Conversation it is. You have piqued my interest. Besides, I intend to take full advantage of this business trip. Um, someone sure out to impress you if you're at the Astro Lounge. That would be Infinity LTD. Oh. A deal with Infinity LTD, that sounds risky. Does bringing you out to a fancy setting like this really work on... You know, let's persuade. Risky, you say. By all means, enlighten me. Uh, I figured you'd be more into quality. Infinity LTD isn't a strong brand. Uh, yeah. Why Damn. It's difficult for anyone to match Reusion's prices. We believe our partnership may finally tip those scales. 
Um, damn. Infinity is something that can be instructed. I have little concern when it comes to leading Infinity in a future partnership. Um. An off-handed statement, but when it comes to public perception, it does give me cause for concern. Um. I guess I don't. I'm ready to steal. That depends on what you want out of the partnership. We believe Infinity will have no issues when it comes to seeing things our way. Well, this is the last time I waste conversation on someone like you. Mm. To think I listen to a stranger who does not even look like they belong here. Now, I think I will get back to enjoying myself, if you do not mind. Hey, wanna dance? Yeah, I'm not changing into the suit. you have to slap a dress code on this place keep it classy for appearances sake uh. touche at least you've got some wit about you wait a minute please tell me you're not from infinity ltd uh no and i hate for anyone to think so <laughs> someone like you doesn't want to be associated with infinity ltd <laughs> now this I've got to hear. Um, you just be shackling yourself to one big mess? Sounds like a bad marriage. <laughs> and I can only afford one of those. Preaching to the choir. Auto persuade. Oh, ouch. Trying to wound me? No one's in the business of losing money. But that statement does make me question a few things. Well, it's been interesting just goes to show how wrong first impressions can be unfortunately it sounds like i have some data i need to revisit so take care and maybe next time dress to impress uh, if y'all really Holy shit. did i just miss something I mean, do I have to read it? It does say optional, so... I'm gonna just try to do this one time. Did I just mess up again? Okay, I was about to be highly upset if I did. How quickly can you get that done? Very quickly, actually. Of security. You good? I'm mad. They said I'm not in the proper attire. It's ridiculous. This is a leather jacket. I am in proper proper attire. Yeah, I'm in proper attire. Any trouble and I'll drag you yeah, 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 yeah. Good luck. Running, 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 So close, so close, Andresia. So close. Ready to report? 
Well, that wasn't too bad, was it? You're a natural. I'm not just saying that because I hired you. The Astral Lounge can be overwhelming for some, with all its bells and whistles. Tie that in with manipulating people who are the equivalent of their boss's boss, most junior level ops would start to show their cracks. But no rest for the weary at Ryujin. We've got a decent backlog of assignments, and they just keep coming, so I hope you're still good to go. Oh, Jesus Christ. At least Christ. this next one will be a break from all the chatter. Alright, let's just get it done with. next assignment is to remind the competitor of their place in the corporate food chain. Some call it retaliation, but we like to think of it as tough love. A heavy hand is often needed to make sure we get our point across. Most corporations live and die by public perception. Trusted products lead to a good reputation, which leads to profits. And, like it or not, we're all here for the profits. Your assignment is to plant an ARC device. The ARC will allow us to frame our competitor for gross negligence and tank the public's perception. Alright. Good. All you need to do is plant the ARC on the service panel of your target. We can handle the rest from here. Do your best to make sure you aren't seen. The key is to make this look like a malfunction. And good luck. Keep it up, and you'll probably have my job soon. Yeah, probably. Um, I feel like this is the last one I'm going to do, and then I'm going to end this part. I'm not quite sure yet. Hope tech? I mean, I already, uh, I feel bad. Approaching ship, you've entered Free Star Collective Space. Maintain your current course while we scan for contraband. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? Okay, 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 Dad. I thought that was the wolf station. I was say, I did not know it moved. I didn't know it could move. some business why are you Music from my ears behind the counter that's what I want to know are you trying to socialize more you got tired of banging your head into the wall he might have got tired of banging his head into the wall and he ain't got nothing good wait a minute he ain't got nothing good and all this is crap how he gonna be up here trying to sell this like it's actually something yeah I bought it Wakizashi? I don't know. Huh. Um. Huh. Oh, it's only five rounds in that. It's only five rounds in that. Uh, I thought it was good. What is this? That's the laser gun and... Yeah. I mean, it's not good, but for some reason, I I like it. 
I like it a lot. And just in case y'all don't know what I'm talking about, him beating his head against the wall, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all. Right here. Stress reduction procedure. Rumor mail says Ron Hope got shot. Today. I don't want to hear any complaints. Well, he wouldn't have got shot if he wasn't such a disrespectful individual that didn't know how to have a proper conversation. You ever check out the prices at Trident? You could buy like a fleet of Um. Okay. Are they letting me in here because I helped them? Because, um, I don't think they should be al allowing me in here after what I did to, um, Mr. Hope. I mean, granted, he brought it on himself, but still. Damn it, I gotta get up there. What is that? Okay, robot. Oh, I made it to the right location. Never mind. This was always planned. I knew what I was doing. You didn't know what you were doing. Been up there, huh? Space. Must be cool. I never get to go to space. It always got to be one person. Damn it. Wait, wait, wait. Can I just... Alright, it did work. Tried Aurora once. I did not enjoy the experience. Just one more day. Hey there, got an update for me? Yep, mission is done. Good work. Now I can let Masako know how much she'll enjoy watching the news tonight. Now, on to the next, right? Oh, but before I forget, the results of your Astral Lounge escapades are in. The deal between Quantum Synergies and Infinity LTD went through, so Masako is pretty unhappy. Oh, well. You managed to get Arthur on board, which is a challenge in itself, but Zola still wasn't convinced. Just make this next assignment count. Um. 
Aren't we all? At least not all assignments require that level of finesse. In order to stay on top of the market, we have to know what our competition is doing. The next assignment requires a more brute force approach, since the chances of them sharing that information is unlikely. Good. Luckily, there aren't many, besides the usual. Your target is a prototype schematic for a new engine that Trident Luxury Lines is working on. According to the rumors, it's projected to be 17% more efficient than any engine on the market. The current schematic was sent to their star yard to begin prototyping, so they could be in the office area or the factory floor. All right. You'll find the Trident Luxury Line star yard orbiting Aquila in the Cheyenne system. Remember, same rules apply. Don't get caught and don't make a mess. But you just said I could be persuasive. Anyway, um, skirt, skirt. All right, that seems a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here because this video is getting a little bit too long. But other than that, I'm gonna see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you're new, and uh, I don't know, comment what's your favorite part of the video. There you go, because um, I ain't got nothing else for y'all to comment. Other than that, it's been King Lou coming at you. I'm gonna see you on the next one. Everybody take care. Peace.